Hello again, I hope you're all well um, and depending on when you're watching this video uh, the UK is currently in what they call in a lockdown so there's restricted mm. movement um, you're only really <laughs> allowed to leave your house if you mm. have to go to work and there's no way of you working from home um, or to buy essential food supplies uh, medical supplies or if you're, if you're ill um, so we're wild camping in the back garden today uh, and this is my youngest son Harley he's just turned five years old um, he's had glue here for a few years so uh, his hearing hasn't been very good so he's a little bit behind with his words however he has been practicing for a few days and there's something he'd like to say to you do you want to say it? My name is Harley I'm five and I'm camping he's never been wild camping before but we've been family camping so he's been nagging me for a couple of days since I put the tent up to come um, so we've got it set up. I got two ten teddies and on my airplane. You got your teddies and your paper airplane, didn't you, for later? Yeah. Yeah. This is a new tent uh, for me. I bought it, I think, a couple of months ago, but I haven't had a chance to go out, especially with the travel restrictions. Um, and I bought it as a, yeah. as a relatively lightweight tent that I'd be able to take um, take my son camping with me. My two older sons are in their twenties, and I doubt they'd want to come with us. Um, so I thought as he gets older I'd be able to take him. Uh, it's the same weight as a Hilleberg Acto, so it's a, a reasonable weight. Uh, easy to put up, it's freestanding if it needs to be. It's a three season tent, so in some parts the fly sheet doesn't come all the way to the ground. Um, but there's plenty of room, I've got two full size adult sleeping bags with two um, adult mattresses in there, no problem at all. Uh, and then the front, front porch comes down to the ground, which I'll show you later in the film. So you've got places to uh, to store equipment, or if need be, um, if the weather's bad, you could do some cooking in there. Sorry. You got your pasta, and we got our our relatively lightweight cooker, which is not lightweight at all, is it? It's quite heavy. Yeah. Yeah. And we got a frying pan there. Yeah. Yeah. So there is a. There is, a, I think, a, a Just Giving page or, or a GoFundMe page, but I'll put the link in the video description below. Um, quite a few wild campers, uh, I, I thought it was tonight, but it was actually last Saturday, did a wild camp um, and they were asking for people... It's also light in or camping in night. Yeah, we got a light for in the night, haven't we? Yeah, it's so see. So we can see, yeah. yeah. Yeah, they were just trying to raise some uh, some money for, I think it was for the NHS. Um, and the last time I checked, uh, it was over £100,000. But I'll leave the link once I find, find the page in the description below. And if you'd like to donate anything, um, please feel free. I don't need the house. You got a little what, sorry? I don't see the house. Don't tell them our house is there. Yeah. It's supposed to be a wild camp in the mountains. Yeah. He's giving it all away now, isn't he? So Harley wanted to um, eat what I have when I go camping. Um, so if you've seen any of my other videos, one thing I take with me sometimes are these pasta and sauce uh, dehydrated meals. They're, they're only about, they're less than 50 pence, I think, from Aldi. Uh, and he really likes them. So I'm going to make him that um, for his tea tonight. And uh, maybe a bit of custard and some sponge pudding as well. these are easy enough to do they they take about eight minutes um, you do have to simmer them for about eight minutes though you don't just uh, you can't just pour liquid into the bag and leave them like some of the dehydrated meals you get they don't they don't absorb all the water so you do have to simmer them um, for eight minutes for them to fully absorb they're really nice really cheap and they're just short of about um, 500 calories so they're not far off the dehydrated packet yes. meals you get which cost about eight pounds something like that seven eight pounds there we go so we're just going to simmer it this is an old camping stove i've had this for about 10 years it's a bit rusty but it still works fine yeah it still works still it, works doesn't it yeah pass do work everyone yeah. talking to the camera yeah yeah you like talking when you look in there you're actually looking at like a million people because there'd be about a million people watch this film honestly yeah, watch this film. About a million people are going to watch this film. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to be a, you're going to be a, a wild camping celebrity. Yeah. Be like a superstar. Yeah. 
Yeah. Now, I'm going to have some sirloin steak, some of these uh, peeled new potatoes, because they're already cooked, so I'm only going to really um, reheat them, and these are about 20 pence for the tin. I'll boil them in the water this comes from. Probably not something I'd take camping, because they're quite heavy. Um, but I cook steak quite quite often when I'm camping. Um, and then I've got a sash here, this uh, creamy peppercorn sauce as well. You mind he doesn't get it? It's all right, just push him away. Here we go, nothing fancy, but it tastes lovely. So we'll have a, a look round the tent. You can see inside there, there's two full-size sleeping bags. There's a pocket down that end. Look in the middle. I tied some string up there on the roof. There is another pocket there, storage pocket. There's plenty of room. There are two adult full-size sleeping bags there. Yeah, the material is uh, is much thinner than the Sulu. It's very noticeably thin. I mean, you can sort of see through it. But that's with both of the doors open. They're tied up. Typical uh, Hilleberg elastic toddles. There's two in here, so you can close door now if you look here on the floor I've already got a tent peg put there with a loop so you can have both doors open or one door open and you just attach it like that so I'll just attach this up now and show you okay so when you attach it onto the toggle there you've got a, a strap you can pull it tight and then that's one of the doors closed you can have either of them close it doesn't matter you just swap the toggle over to the other side and then you can close both of them up to make a vestibule so again on the other side same elasticated toggles yeah. and then the zip at the top bottom if it's windy you can you can do this toggle up here yeah you're inside so that's if it's windy you do that toggle up there yeah just stops as it coming undone it's got the usual sort of rubbery type material over the zip and then at the top if you need a bit of extra venting there's a zip here so you can open it up for some extra vent in there. That's it closed. So there's the vestibule, vestibule from the outside. You notice here where it's uh, it's raised. But the ground sheet does come up really high. So if the wind was hitting it at an angle. Uh, you'll be fine in there, but it allows for ventilation to get under, which is why it's a three-season tent. And there's a guy, guy line on each of the four corners, and then in the middle, on the side, you can see there's a large uh, venting area there as well, with the small guy line coming out just to hold the fly sheet open. It's really, really easy to put up, really quick. Okay, so there's the vestibule from the inside of the tent. Now, widthways, it is wider than the Sulu. Um, it's, pro it's probably almost as wide as the Acto, but where it differs is the 
the fly sheet sort of is, is concave here so it hasn't got the the space there i mean you could still cook i, I would recommend a, a cooker that was low down or potentially you, what you can do is unbutton a couple of these and just pull part of the inner away to create a bit of extra room for cooking but uh, it's fine for storing um you could store two packs in there no problem at all it's a good size vestibule which i i would always uh, have because it's usually raining when i go camping right one thing that distinguishes it or another thing that distinguishes it from a four season is this inner door which you can see is this sort of um, mesh door there's no option to have full material there so it allows for better ventilation um, whereas a four season tent that could be solid material there so that's another feature that's different